Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Down below in the show notes, there's an awesome link that I need to make sure that you have clicked on. You see, there's something called activities for kids or our critter challenges. To be a critter protector on our Kids Animal Stories show, you need to make sure that you're doing all these activities and challenges and they're super duper fun. So click the link down below in the show notes to check those out today. Are you guys ready for today's amazing adventure? Holy smokes, me too, let's go! Today was a perfect day for Eric and Leo to go fishing. Have you ever gone fishing before? That's a really fun thing to do when it's pretty simple. You just need a fishing pole with a hook and maybe a bobber and, and some worms. Have you ever held a slimy worm before? (laughs) It can be a little, uh, little extra slimy. Well, when you put the worm on the hook, then you throw it in the water and you gotta be patient. Sometimes the fish are very hungry. Sometimes you gotta have to wait a little bit longer. But Eric and Leo were both very patient fishermen. Hey, Leo, have you gotten any bites yet? Shouted Eric. Not yet. But I've seen some big ones swimming nearby, said Leo. It was a hot Saturday morning, and they hadn't gotten any bites yet. But Eric and Leo were determined to catch this monster fish. You see, this pond near their house had an old legend that there was like a ginormous fish. A fish that was so big it would just bite right through the fishing line. And everyone always tried to catch it. But it was just too big. But Eric and Leo, they were determined to catch that legendary ginormous fish. Hey, I'm going to take a break for a second. I'm going to just leave my pole sitting over here, said Eric. He walked over to their snack bag, which is where they had brought some snacks, uh, which that's a really important part of fishing. It could take a little while to catch a fish, so you definitely need some snacks and some water uh, while you're waiting. <sighs> Mmm, these are good. You want some, Leo? Said Eric. Yeah, I'd love some. Eric passed the bag of snacks over to Leo and he gobbled them down. Oh, so what do you think this legendary fish actually is? Asked Eric. Hmm, I thought maybe like it's an, an old sturgeon or maybe a, sh- a little shark that got loose in this pond somehow a long time ago and it's just grown up and just sits down at the bottom, said Leo. That would be insane. I've always thought it was a ginormous catfish, but I like your ideas better, said Eric. Eric, your pole, look, shouted Leo. Eric's pole, he had leaned it up against a tree branch and it was all of a sudden just like being pulled almost into the pond. It was dipped over and looked like um, an upside down J letter because it was bending so much. Eric ran over as fast as he could. He slid his feet through the dirt like he was sliding into second base and grabbed onto the fishing pole before it got pulled right into the water. Oh, I got it. Uh, It's on. Leo, I need your help, shouted Eric. Leo came running over and held onto Eric's shoulders so that Eric wouldn't get pulled into the water too. Don't let me go, said Eric. It's about to pull me into the water. I won't let you go, said Leo. I got you. Just keep reeling. Don't let go of the pole. We've got to catch this monster. It was the most epic of fishing battles I've ever seen. Eric was using all of his muscles. There was sweat pouring down his face. And Leo was holding on for Eric's life. Because if he lets go, Eric is going flying. I mean, zooming (laughs) right into the pond. There seriously must be like a ginormous legendary fish in there. What do you think it is? I wonder if they're right. Do you think a shark could actually live in a pond like that? It's getting closer to shore. I'm almost got it. Eric had reeled it as much as he could, and he could tell that it was close to shore. They still couldn't see what kind of creature it was, but all of a sudden, it poked out its head. Hey, 
Why do you guys keep bothering me? Eric and Leo were thrown back into the grass. They couldn't believe it. Leo, it's not a fish. That's a ginormous snapping turtle. He was right. It was actually not a fish that they had caught, but it was a ginormous snapping turtle that looked pretty upset. I gotta hand it to you. You two are pretty strong, but seriously, why do you keep bothering me? Said the snapping turtle. We're so sorry, said Leo. We really thought that you were like a ginormous fish, but... Has it really been you this entire time? Are you the legendary fish that everyone's tried to catch? Yes, it's me. It gets pretty frustrating when people fish in here because there's not any fish in here. It's only me. And so I bite those hooks to get him out of here. You just got to find a different place to go fishing. Eric and Leo were completely shocked. Not only did they just learn that there's no fish in this pond (laughs) but they just caught a ginormous talking snapping turtle I've never seen that before and neither have they we're so sorry Mr. Snapping Turtle Uh, yeah we'll, we'll stop fishing here and we'll stop bothering you and leave you alone said Eric okay thank you Uh, there's a good pond just east of here a couple minutes You should check out there. It's full of amazing fish. That's where I go to eat my lunch, said the turtle. Oh, thank you so much for the tip, said Leo. We'll head over there right now, and we will never fish in this pond ever again. And just then, the snapping turtle went back into the water and disappeared. Eric and Leo looked at each other, and they shook their heads. They couldn't even believe that that was actually just happened. It felt like a dream, But it was real. The rest of the day, they spent over at that other pond that the snapping turtle recommended and caught a ton of fish. He was totally right. And now they found a new place to go fishing and they will never, (laughs) ever go back to that pond with the mysterious legendary fish that's actually a snapping turtle. (laughs) The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Jasper and Harper from British Columbia, Layla and Dylan from California, Judah from Ontario, Milan and Quinton from Colorado, Sidon from British Columbia, Yash from India, Devin and Mateo from New Zealand, Jack and Dean from Aruba. I'm so glad that you are all on the spy team and on the Kid Short Stories family. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. (laughs) And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.